What's up guys, welcome back to The Walking Dead, episode 2. So, as you know in the last episode, we are now at St. John Farm. And it all seems really, really safe and brilliant to be honest, but I, after, I do have my suspicions, I really do. It's, it seems too good to be true, if you know what I mean. Look at this swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. <laughs> Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. That would be good. Can we like, get some wood off here then? We have an axe, don't we? I'm gonna need some rope. And there's got to be a board around here I can use as a seat. So we need a board and a rope for that. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for those things. Can I just pull one out from the fence? <laughs> I don't particularly want to go in there yet. I just want to like, examine everything. No, I've already looked at that. Uh, talk to Mark. Still no explanation about how exactly we stumbled upon so Mark. Found out. Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Right. I'll go over here. Look at picket fence. Well, there's that. There's some board. Oui. <laughs> Pointy. Oui. <laughs> very, very well observed. Saw. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. Oh, there's some right next to this, next to you. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. So he's cut the board. Then we can stick it on the swing. But we still need some rope. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. <laughs> it's like, no, you don't know what you're doing. Get off. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the fruit. There's something really fishy about this. He stopped me really quickly there. Ah, there'll be plenty of time for all that stuff later, after we go fix up the fence. There really doesn't seem something good here. Oh well. I guess we can stick... the thing... the uh, board... on the swing. If it can still go on there without the rope, of course. The board is good, but I need some rope. Right, so, it's, so we do need to get some rope. Okay, don't, don't know where we're going to get rope from. I cannot see any around here. Hopefully, though, there will be some somewhere. I just can't see anywhere around here right now. Can we go inside, maybe? Well, we can walk up on the porch. Maybe some rope in here somewhere? Look at a was. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Where'd you come from? Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Holy hell. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. <laughs> then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. <laughs> this one's off. Why'd you even come up here in the first place, man? These people put a lot of love into this dairy. I think we can go inside, but just want to look around the porch first. Shoe bucket. Oh, rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. 
Excellent. Anything over this side? Plants. Mm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. <laughs> God, they must be all starving. Wind chimes. Used to have these on the front porch of my house growing up. Hope the noise doesn't attract any unwanted guests. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Oh, we can actually go inside. Oh, can we? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. <laughs> the family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Hmm. I can see why. What happened to the rest of you, staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. Damn. It was a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lou. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still. <laughs> Sound like a kid. Play a kid. Uh, you gotta, uh, when's when's dinner? I've been holding up since, uh, you know. All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Hell yeah! Okay. I guess we'll go and put the rope on the swing now. The rope on the board, of course. Use board and rope on swing, yes. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. I'll be dead. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. <laughs> Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. It seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Well, at least we got it all set up. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Now Clem and Duck can go like we. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we'll go. Uh, can we mention anything to Mark now? Hey, I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. Yeah, something's fishy about the barn area. Generator might be a problem. Andy said it's tricky and repairing it takes him a while. Still, it's a hell of a lot more secure than the motor is. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Well, I guess I can't really do anything else. What the f- Why is there a gap in this fence? That is disgraceful. Come on, what the hell's that point of having a fence? Right, well, I guess we'll talk to Andy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? No, fuck. <laughs> we cannot protect the dairy. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. The fence stops the walkers. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? Is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. 
closest thing to entertainment these days. Oh, like popcorn. Yeah. These generators Excellent. are enough to power the whole dairy. <coughs> we got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Are we our first guests? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Let's go fix the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that. Well, the survivors have stayed at the farm. Oh, huh? good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. And I guess we're gonna have to be super careful here. And also make sure that... That we do check everything to make sure everything's safe. And also we don't get attacked by any zombies that are actually alive. Yeah, this place looks a bit shady. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. We'll work it out somehow. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Oh, Jesus. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. <laughs> Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. <laughs> Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. Those lights are out. That means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> It'd be awkward if it wasn't. Disgusting. Ugh. Well, we have an arrow, apparently. Well, pulled it out, at least. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Well... Guess we better push him off. Uh, Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It surely won't be that easy. A fortress needs to be, it'll be it's useless without gas. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food. But the St. John's need gas too. You know, it's sure ambivalence. Days, we could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So, what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Seems suspicious. Thanks. For some reason. There's another one. Oh, nice. I see it. Wow, that fence really is knocked over, isn't it? Oh god damn it. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. Oh no. <laughs> Got to chop his hands off. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> the the fu the why is fused together? Thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? They if better they be. got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Oh, another Come on. fence completely knocked over. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. 
Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. Be careful. <laughs> If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on! <laughs> hey, zombie, help, help him. Sorry. Is that thing moving because of the fence? Or... Q, 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 Q. It's not easy being on this side, Jesus. Holy fuck! <sighs> what just happened? The fences are The generators are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh my god. What the? Get to the gate. Oh my god. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. It's the bandits in this. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? Uh. That's it's the only way out. You got it. God, can we not push the damn truck? Oh, Jesus. Did you really think you'd fuck with us? Lee, hurry up. Shit. You assholes. Now push it, push it, push it. It won't budge. Oh, the damn bricks in the way. Oh. Right. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Oh, there's something really bad going on. Oh my god. Oh, there's a damn zombie in the way. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. You're joking. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Oh! It's another one! Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Three. Push three down, I think. Pull this one. Oh, it's alive! Uh, kick it, kick it! Kick it again, kick it again. Kick it. Ugh. Okay, he's dead. He's dead for God's sake. Oh, he's behind, he's behind, he's behind, he's behind, he's behind, he's behind, he's not dead, he's not dead, he's not dead, he's not dead. Oh. Oh damn! Let's get out of here. Come on, run, run through the fence, run through the fence, run! You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. They could, they could seriously just run through that gate and just completely screw the whole place up. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? That's the explanation, the Jesus. In the woods, Mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, Better pull oh the my damn God, thing. what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... It out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Damn. Well, he must be the best. What man. kind of shit is this? <laughs> we ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning, killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Yep, it isn't as safe as here as we thought. So much for our understanding. Jesus, Lee, say something. 
Listen, we may have had to those people, but we've got to stand I didn't say anything or something. For this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Oh boy. It's gonna, it's gonna get Bandits? intense. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. Agreed, Larry. I'm head out and <laughs> day and deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most ironic thing I've ever heard. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. So it, so it's just Carly and Ben just back there on their own. Hey, oh my kids, god. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. I just noticed we didn't find a hat. God damn it. That could be a key decision in this game. <laughs> we did not find Clementine's hat. You have lost. Oh well. Wow, that was that was really bad. Gas cans. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Oh, can we actually get out of the barn though? Oh, we can. Oh, this is gonna get interesting, I think. I want to find out why Looks was it like Andy was so for the quick to stop me going in here. Just, just want to. Oh, he's Larry and Lily. Lee, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? It's safer than the motor in. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. <laughs> Take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Mm. Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. <laughs> Larry's like, what you doing? What you say about me? It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's... <laughs> Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. Huh. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Fair enough. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? <laughs> Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, 
and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. I'm still suspicious of that barn. Can't even talk to Larry, damn it. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. Oh God damn it. people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. All right, I've already didn't go through the whole thing. Right. So we're done over there. So we can now look at Cornfield.